to diagnose a bad humidity control, first step would be to get the unit in an off position. So we want to make sure the humidity control is turned all the way counterclockwise to the off position. The fan switch here, we want to make sure the bottom of it's pushed into the auto position. Um, that'll make sure that the unit's actually off. Uh, the next step would actually be to plug the unit in. We want to make sure we uh, have a good outlet. So if we have a lamp or a drill or some, some other kind of a electrical equipment that we plug in there to verify power. Um, once we verify power, we we'll just go ahead and plug the unit in. Uh, we want to make sure the unit is actually does stay off. Um, we did have it in an off position. Uh, the next thing to do to test the humidity control, these things can uh, get off calibration. Um, they can stay on all the time or they just don't shut off. Uh, if we got a, a hygrometer, we can actually see our humidity uh, and uh, relative humidity. So generally with this uh, black knob here, it's a mechanical control. It's not uh, super accurate, but generally down at the right at the bottom, if you're thinking of the six o'clock position, that should be somewhere around 40 to 50 percent humidity. Um, uh, obviously, right here in this particular case, we have about 44 percent humidity. So if we turn it maybe to the seven o'clock position, it should come on before that. So we'll just go ahead and turn uh, the control knob here, and then the unit should turn on. Um, uh, we did actually hear a click from the humidity control, so it actually did uh, turn the unit on. Uh, you can actually do this unplugged as well. You can just kind of rock the control back and forth and you can actually hear the click from the humidity control switch. So this unit is actually turning on somewhere around that seven o'clock position or so. So it's for the most part calibrated. So this one's actually okay. But if you had to turn it all the way past, say the nine o'clock position to actually get it to turn on, that would uh, note that the humidity control is way off calibration or maybe is broken. Um, when we plug the unit in, if we actually, um, the unit did not automatically turned on and we couldn't turn it off for whatever reason, we could say the humidity control is just stuck closed where it's uh, letting the unit run. So this humidity control is actually okay, but if you have any calibration or uh, function issues, uh, the control would need to be replaced. Uh, replace the humidity control, we'll need a T20 Torx bit. Uh, you can either have it on a drill or a common screwdriver. Uh, we'll also need a hygrometer or humidity meter. Uh, then we'll need a pair of needle nose pliers, a small flathead screwdriver, and then a number two Phillips head screwdriver. Before starting any repairs, um, you want to make sure that the dehumidifier is safe. Please unplug the unit before starting any repairs. To remove the cabinet, you'll need a T20 Torx, either a regular screwdriver bit T20 Torx or a T20 Torx on a drill makes it a lot quicker and easier. First thing to do is remove the filter. You may have a pre-filter in here, but remove that filter. And then there's 12 screws to remove. There's three for the back cabinet. Um, three for the bottom here, and then another six on the back in the same location. So we'll go ahead and take those loose. So we'll remove the back cabinet first. So we'll just pull up and off. Set that aside. And then we're going to work on these bottom screws here. And another three on the back. And what you want to do is actually Pull the bottom of the cabinet out on both sides, flex it open slightly, pull it up and off. The next step in removing the humidity control is to uh, remove a couple screws in the front that mount the uh, humidity control in, uh, removing the knob and then pulling it out of the side this way. So we have two bigger screws up at the top at the drain pan, just a Phillips head screwdriver. Get those removed. This will just allow a little bit of flex in the drain pan to allow the 
humidity control room to come out. And then with your flat bladed screwdriver, you just want to get behind the black knob here to remove it. Just pry it right off there. Then you'll see another two Phillips head screws behind that knob. You'll remove those. Those are the screws that actually mount the humidity control in. Now the humidity control is loose. So we'll just turn it here so you can see. And what we're gonna have to do is actually push this shaft in so we can get it further back and then slide the humidity control out. There's a little piece of foam here at the bottom, so it's nice to just try to pick the humidity control up a little bit. And it's a little bit of a bear to get it out, but you wanna push with your finger on the, the shaft there. Try to get the humidity control out. With your needle nose pliers, you can grab the side of the humidity control. You don't wanna to touch any of the stuff in the center. You can just grab the sides of the humidity control. You can use that as a pry point to remove the humidity control. Once the humidity control is removed, um, there's uh, two connectors on the top, both have two wires. Um, what we wanna notice here is the orange and blue wire is on the inside of the uh, humidity control, or really the the outside of, or inside of the unit, but outside of the humidity control there. Uh, just for proper wire lengths and whatnot, you wanna make sure you get those back in the same spot. It doesn't matter if you mix them up electrically, but um, just for the wire length, it's better to have that one on the outside. So if you need those pliers, you can just kind of grab them lightly at the bottom, just pry that up. And there we have the humidity control removed. So the next step would be to install the new humidity control. Uh, before you install it, you just want to make sure uh, when you get it, just go ahead and turn it back and forth or whatever, make sure you hear it clicking. Uh, it should click, um, uh, depending on your humidity in your room, generally right around halfway or so. I uh, just want to make sure you're putting in a good humidity control before you uh, 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 install it. Uh, next step would be to install the uh, wires. Uh, again, the orange and blue we want to have on the outside of the humidity control here. And then we have the wires kind of pointing into the humidity control. I'm gonna get that flipped around. Put that in there, so now it's wired electrically. Then we're gonna go ahead and slide it into the cabinet. There's a piece of foam here on the bottom. You wanna to try to get it up above that um, so we can slide it back and then um, we'll get that shaft uh, into that bigger hole there. You don't want to push on any of the center pieces. Try to push on the outside frame of the humidity control. All right. Then we got the uh, shaft hanging out of the side here. What you want to make sure is, when we before we put in the two screws that mount it, we want to make sure that it's sitting flush against the back side of this piece of metal here. So you can just kind of push it up from the behind with your finger and make sure those uh, you can kind of see the threads right behind it. And then we have these two small Phillips head screws. We'll get each of those started. And then once we have them both started, just go ahead and screw those down. These small screws, you want to get them snug. Don't try to over tighten them or whatnot. They don't need to be. And then the next step would be to install your uh, black uh, knob here. It's a D-shaped uh, slot, so you can't get it off. It only go on one way. Got a flat spot on the shaft here. Got a splat, flat spot on the D-shaft here, D-slot. And then you just put it on. And then you don't want to push it all the way down because it can hit the little screws or whatnot. Usually you have it off just a little bit so it can turn. Um, once you have it in, what you want to do is kind of turn it back and forth again. Make sure the humidity, you can hear the humidity control clicking right around that uh, uh, halfway point or wherever humidity actually is in your space. Uh, then last step would be to install those screws at the top here. 
the drain pan might get off a little bit, so you might have to just kind of move the black drain pan around with your hand. Get the screw holes lined up. We'll start them both before we tighten. And then we'll go ahead and tighten down. These screws have a bevel, bevel to them, so they'll kind of align themselves as you screw them down. Align the drain pan. And now the humidity control is replaced. To reinstall the top cover, uh, first thing you'll need to do is just get the top cover. You want to, as before, uh, you want to have this oriented correctly. The back space here actually goes to the back of the machine, so opposite of this coil in the front. Uh, what you want to do to set it down, you'll actually kind of spread open the bottom of the cabinet a little bit, and you want to kind of slide it over the top. Uh, to make sure you got it oriented properly, there's some galvanized metal pieces here. These need to be in front of this black coil here. And then there's a little white tab here that you want to make sure is in front of the cabinet or the bottom cabinet in this location. So it looks like we're pretty good here. There's some little bins at the bottom that we'll want to get underneath the unit. So kind of get everything set down in place. Turn it to the side. Sometimes it's nice to kind of hang it over the table a little bit. That'll make that little bend at the bottom a little bit easier to work with. And then just make sure you got your holes lined up to the threads. Just start putting the screws in on one side loosely. Just in the T20 Torx bit for screw these down and these are small screws they're also stainless so not a lot of torque is needed Just get them good and snug got that side then we'll move to the opposite side again having it over an edge of a table works out nice get that lined up screw holes there Now that we got those six screws in, kind of turn to the back here and we'll get the little exhaust bracket on. In this particular model, this uh, um, little angle piece here can go on this way or it can go on this way, depending if you want the air to come up out of the unit or if you want to go have the air come right out of the back. Um, generally, it, the unit's shipped in this position where the air comes out of the back, that's the most common. But if you wanted to change it, it'd be a good point too. Uh, kind of same as before, we just have uh, three screws on this side. You wanna just try to get the holes lined up. Cover's installed, but we just have the filter here we want to put back in. Uh, on the side of your filter, you should see some arrows or whatnot, or the dirtier side or whatnot will be out. Um, so in this one, this is a new filter, but we'll just kind of shove it up um, underneath. I got a little lip here, shove it up underneath, and then rock the bottom in there. So uh, after you've replaced the humidity control, uh, we want to verify that it's uh, operating properly. So uh, we want to make sure the unit's in the off position. 
the fan switch here. We want to make sure in the auto position that'll uh, have the unit off uh, to start our test. Uh, next step would be to plug the unit in, but we want to verify power first. If you have a uh, light bulb or a drill or some some other electrical equipment that you can plug in to verify power first. Once uh, you verify power, um, go ahead and plug the unit in. Uh, we have a huge uh, hygrometer here. Um, we want to make sure the humidity uh, when the, where the unit turns on is somewhat close to where the humidity in the room. These are mechanical controls, so they're uh, not super accurate, but they do um, get us in the ballpark. So uh, in this particular situation, we're somewhere around 40, 45% humidity. That means the humidity control should turn on somewhere around the seven o'clock position, eight o'clock position, right in the middle of the six o'clock position is somewhere around 50%, 40 to 50% or so. So we're gonna go ahead and just turn that control clockwise. And then you should be able to hear a click and then the fan and compressor would turn on. That would verify that the control worked uh, properly. Um, if you had to turn it all the way up to on to get to turn on, that would denote a problem. Or if you had to turn it all the way off to get to shut off, that would also denote a problem. Uh, in this case, uh, the humidity control replacement uh, did work. The new control works fine. So um, this unit's repaired.